It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new or re-released McDonald's Great Taste of the World. This is their Canadian stack. Here's a look at it. So it's been made with sweet maple syrup, barbecue sauce, two patties, lettuce, crispy onion, Drop some lettuce. Cheese. I believe there's some bacon in there as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's some bacon as well. Look. I gotta be careful, I'm dropping all lettuce everywhere. It looks really good. That's a look at it. There's the patties. Got a different style of bread on it. It's a bit like a brioche bun or something. There's the, oh, there's the maple, barbecue maple sauce there. Let's dive in. I do like a McDonald's burger. I find them, that first bite, quite satisfying. I'll tell you a little story about me, or a little kind of inkling into what I buy from these places. Generally, I buy a lot of chicken. I do a lot of KFC, I uh, do a lot of the McDonald's chicken burgers. Uh, my favorite's probably the McChicken sandwich and and then of course the other the other fast food giants out there. I generally buy chicken. When I buy a beef burger, I'm always surprised by myself just by, or I'm always surprised just how nice they are. That lovely kind of texture of the beef and the the, the lovely beef patty flavour. Mm. Very satisfying. Very satisfying meal. Nice taste from the bacon. Cheese is doing its job. That sweet maple barbecue sauce is quite nice. Yeah, it's definitely quite nice. Came in a four pound, four pound fifty nine, I think, for this burger on its own. When they release the new burgers, I generally just buy the burger. I don't need the fries or the gallon of Coke. Uh, I'm not really a Coke drinker anymore. Probably used to be as a kid. Don't need that in my meal anymore. And it's enough. A great big burger like this is enough, I think. Mm. Buns tasty, lovely and soft. I tell you what though, I caught McDonald's out by surprise a little bit. I knew this was coming out. I knew their breakfast menu finished at half past 10 this morning. So I was there, banging on the door, 10.30. Put my order in. They didn't even have it on the till. So, I had to order off the machine, the touchscreen thing. Um, order off the machine, and I was there 20 minutes. 20 minutes waiting for this burger, so obviously they just wasn't ready. They wasn't ready, they must have been digging out ingredients and trying to work out what goes in there. And what was funny, I live in Wales, Wales are playing Tonga this morning in the World Cup in the rugby. So McDonald's was empty. There's nobody in there. And it was just me on my lonesome with this ticket. Thinking there's people milling around everywhere behind the counter. Why? Why aren't they being served this burger? Why am I waiting 20 minutes for this burger? All's good though. Worth the wait. Definitely worth the wait. 
This is very nice. It's got a smoky kind of charcoal-y flavour. That must be from the, the barbecue sauce. Mmm. Let's try some of their cheese on its own. Yeah, it's... There's a little bit of flavour from the cheese. I wish they kind of just go the whole hog with the cheese. It should be better. It should be better. Bacon. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Let's rip off some of this bacon. Again. There's a little bit of flavour from the bacon, but it's not like you've just put some back bacon in the in the frying pan and fried it up and you get that beautiful bacon taste. Not like that at all. Although I did like their bacon sandwich, the McDonald's bacon sandwich. Mmm. Ah. That flavour, caramelised. Hold on. Caramelised onions. That's what that flavour is. Really nice. Makes a real difference to this burger. Just putting some, some a little bit of caramelised onions in there. Tasty. I reckon they've done a really good job with this. Hmm. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the the double quarter pounder where I'm getting to the end of it now. I'm like, whew, you know. I've definitely eaten a double burger yet. <clears throat> okay, let's rate it. Canadian stack from McDonald's. £4.59. Yeah, I can feel it filling me up now. Decent job, decent effort by McDonald's. I've enjoyed that. Would I buy it again? Yeah, I would. For me, that's a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.